Beeswax wraps are a great plastic free alternative for storing food, however they can lose their stickiness relatively quickly. I found this when I made my first ever beeswax wraps a few years ago when I just used plain beeswax as the coating over the cotton fabric. I found that it only lasted a few months, maybe 6 to 12 months before it lost its stickiness and I had to re-wax them. So I went about creating an extra sticky beeswax wrap recipe to give them an even stickier coating over the fabric. This just helps it to last a lot longer and requires less effort to keep it sticking over your food or bowl. These beeswax wraps are fully compostable at the end of their life cycle, but if you want to keep them longer, just revive them by rewaxing the fabric with more beeswax or you can, you can compost them once they've lost their stickiness. To use these wraps, you simply use the warmth of your hands to shape and mold them over and around food and dishes. Now we're going to be using pine resin along with the beeswax today to help give it an extra sticky coating. Pine resin is actually sourced from pine trees. It's the sap that comes from those trees and it's just crystallized. You want to make sure that it's powdered when using it in the recipe to help it melt much quicker and mix in with the beeswax a lot easier. I do share the full recipe in the description below so you guys can find it there. The ingredients you'll need today to make these wraps is 100% organic cotton cloth that's been pre-washed and cut into the squares of your desired size. Then you'll need about 2-3 to three tablespoons of sustainably sourced pine resin that's been powdered. You'll need half a cup of beeswax pellets or grated beeswax. I just used grated beeswax today. But if you are going to grate it, set aside certain equipment just to use for using wax and things like that because it's very challenging to clean off afterwards. Then you'll need one tablespoon of organic jojoba oil. Now to make these wax wraps, you need to pre-wash your fabric and cut it into two squares with some fabric scissors. You can cut more squares to make more wraps, but you'll just need to increase the amount of each ingredient that you'll be using. Now in a double boiler or a mason jar or measuring cup that you've placed into a saucepan of boiling water, you want to add in the powdered pine resin, grated beeswax and jojoba oil and melt the ingredients until they're liquefied. You want to mix the ingredients while they're melting to ensure that they're incorporated together well. Then you want to preheat your oven to 180 degrees Celsius or 350 degrees Fahrenheit and then lay some fabric squares on some parchment paper set over a baking tray. Once the wax mixture has melted and it's ready to use, brush it over the fabric squares with a brush that you're dedicating to using just for this purpose because you won't be able to use it for painting or anything afterwards because the wax will have hardened the bristles. You want to brush from the center out ensuring that you coat all the edges and corners well. Then place the tray in the oven for just one to two minutes to help the wax absorb into the fabric. Now, remove it from the oven and be careful not to burn yourself as you gently pick up the hot fabric off the baking paper and just gently swing it in the air to cool it down and allow the wax to set. This only takes a few moments. Once dry, you can trim the edges of the wax wraps with some pinking shears if you need to to remove any loose bits of fabric or just to clean up the sides. Then once they're set, the wax wraps are ready to use. You want to wash the wraps after each use in some cool soapy water and just hang them to dry. Again, you can compost or re-wax the wraps after 6 to 12 months of use or once they've lost their stickiness. Now beeswax wraps aren't as airtight as plastic wraps, so to help with this you can reinforce the wraps cling by using a rubber band. And that's how you make these DIY extra sticky beeswax wraps. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Do let me know if you make it yourself or if you guys have tried making beeswax wraps in the past. I'd love to hear your experience. Thank you so much for watching today and I hope to see you guys again soon in my next video. Bye.